The Joe Rogan Experience. What a time to be alive, huh? That's for sure. Now, I swore I wouldn't share another room with you after the Cybershock after party back in 19. Yeah. But you know how it goes. The NDA has expired and uh, the lawsuit money has done me very well. Very, very well. I think, I think possessions kind of weigh you down. Ooh, character development alert. <laughs> Since when? Well, look, Elon. I want to start off by making one thing very clear. <laughs> um. I don't trust you, and I'm not on your side. <laughs> this 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 will take a while. Okay, shade. I, hope, hope so. I sure hope so. I am, however, doing this in exchange for an unspecified amount of liquid LSD. Uh, please don't touch that. Okay, this is boring. <laughs> Parody and copyright disclaimer. Pause to read. So, out of all of the EDM producers out there, you decide to throw your hat into the ring. Yes, somebody's got to do the the real work, you know. And um, you know, like make, making a car, it's an honest day's it's an honest day's living. For who? Or making anything really, or providing a valuable service. Let's give this song, "Don't Doubt Your Vibe," real title, a listen. <laughs> Positive message. Thank you. And can we expect more music from you in 2023? Um, you know, so yeah, there should should be more more of it. That's great. And I say this next part with compassion. I hear Azalea Banks is producing now, and um, we we could use the help. I, I like electronic music. This channel was made possible by contributions from Patreon patrons and subscribers like you. Thank you. And before everybody asks, we met on Raya. Yeah, which I have since deleted. Well, uh... Ruh! Uh! 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 And do you think it's weird that you're coming on my podcast after all of that? Uh, it's... Actually, I think it's better. I appreciate it more. Honestly, I thought you were a catfish. It was the curiosity swipe, not a genuine one. Yeah. Um, and full disclosure to viewers, though we are just mortal frenemies, we have met up for Evil Afternoon Tea in the Emirates a few times. No, I know. Cancel me now, but I have to say I have quite enjoyed it. <laughs> I've quite enjoyed it, okay? So, you got a lot going on. Um, you know, SpaceX, <laughs> Solar City, <laughs> Twitter. And then there's Neuralink, which is... Now, why chimps? You're studying them. What are you noticing? You can sort of see the it, it, it learning very quickly. I see. And uh, what percent of the test subjects are still with us today? 
I don't know, maybe it's like 5%, but I, I think it won't be too long. I think we may be able to implant a neural link in less than a year. And will you be subject zero or? If it works, I'll do it, sure. Mm -mm. I said subject zero. <laughs> I mean, let's make sure it works. So pivoting with Neuralink, what are the chances that you'll just straight up pass out right now? Well, I don't have a Neuralink in my brain, so I'd say right now 0%. But at the point at which you do have a Neuralink, then it rises above 0%. Elon, one thing that is unique about you is your never-ending eye-catching news headlines. So I want to read some headlines about your life and various endeavors. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Indeed. Elon's next baby mama. Hotties are applying for the job. Now, is being blonde a job requirement? It's not a requirement. It's just um, if if you if you want to be along for the ride. Elon Musk, Nick Cannon, and other celebrities who have. Uh, let's let's not get into that one. Elon Musk tweets. Aliens built the pyramids. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh. Is intelligence not the brand anymore? Blast! Elon Musk asks Twitter for sketch ideas. And it backfires immediately. Elon Musk accidentally includes himself in latest round of mass layoffs. You know, you don't get the credit you deserve for being unintentionally very relatable. It, it, it <laughs> yeah. Azalea Banks is demanding Elon Musk return her phone. Shall we get into it? Elon Musk leaning towards supporting DeSantis for press. Uh, so help me, Satan. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting, very interesting. Just as I think I'm the evilest bitch in a room, I swear, I swear you astound me every day. <laughs> this is a man who is just oozing with evil. Just oozing with it. So, like, people have been calling you a billionaire, but, like, in a bad way. How does that make you feel? For sure. I mean, not, not everyone. You know, there's, uh, for sure, in recent, like, years, billionaire has become a pejorative. Like, it's in a pejorative. I mean, it's not like you could afford to end world hunger. They're tripping. It's like that's a bad thing, um, which I mean I think don't, doesn't make a lot lot of sense in most cases. It, but in your case, so like how do how does this wealth arise? It's if you organize people in a in a better way. Ah, uh, so you mean like a family, sort of like a nepo situation? To produce products and services that are better than what existed before. Okay, so let's take Twitter, <laughs> random example. How would you sum up the Twitter stuff? If, if, a, if a company is making compelling products and services, it should get more capital, and if it's not, it should get less. We'll go out of business. So what then? You're getting paid to take Twitter out? Yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of work to do. Can you do meta next? Okay, so like, fun facts about me. I've been to South Africa. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's great. Um, Twice. Fun facts about Elon Musk. Now this is the plan. Get your ass to Mars. You became the world's richest man in January of 2021. I'm slightly sad about it, actually. But Deep, you once said you'd like to die on Mars. Yeah, so you can't beat him, join him. Speaking of which, 
Mm. You're calling for a what, a pause on artificial intelligence? Yeah, like we should be, I think, less concerned about like re- relative you know, capabilities between people and and more like ha- having AI be vastly, you know, beyond us and decoupled from human will. Is that because the robots know your secrets? Uh, well, I, I think the the it's not a super huge concern. Now, I hear you play The Sims. <laughs> and I know you be playing with that mother load cheat, don't lie. Um. Ugh, I love mother loading. Buying the entire neighborhood up. Kicking the old tennis out. Mm. But uh, how do you like to play The Sims? Collect these like little, little houses, then I can build something, you know, I don't know, artistic, like a, you know, dream house type of thing. Exactly, it's like that. <laughs> But then at a certain point, I feel like the game gets less fun to play. <laughs> Some of your houses, though, they sound mm, poquito uh, spooky. Um, I mean, all the all the cabinets are like hand handmade, and, and they're like odd shapes, and th- th- there's like doors to nowhere and strange like corridors and tunnels and odd paintings on the wall now you see (laughs) i don't love that and do you play the sims with mods yeah definitely you know what i personally get stuck on okay (laughs) character customization and build mode do i really want does it really make sense for me to spend time designing and building a house and i'd be real you know Get out like OCD on the little details and the design and yes, and then you can't like actually play The Sims because you just spend so much time designing everything. Elon, you get it, you get it. Can you sell me on Neuralink in a way that would appeal to my generation? It would be um, it, it basically it implanted in your skull, so. Uh, <laughs> But it would be so, uh, flush with your skull. So you basically uh, take out a chunk of skull, replace, put the neural device in there. Um, you you put the the electrode. You insert the electrode threads very carefully into the, the brain, um, and uh, and then you you know stitch it up, and um, and you wouldn't even know that somebody has it. That part. Um, and then and and so then it. It, it can interface basically anywhere, in, any, anywhere in your brain. Now, have you not seen the HBO series Made for Love? <laughs> because that part. Yeah. Um. The universe potentially began as nothing. How'd we get here? With over 60% of Americans living paycheck to paycheck. And amongst us... Billionaires. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Pejorative. Well, assuming you believe the belief in, in physics, which appears to be true, um, then you know we the universe started off as basically quarks and leptons, and it quickly became hydrogen and uh, helium, lithium, like basically elements of the periodic table. Uh, but it was you know, like mostly hydrogen, basically. Um, and then, and then over a long period of time, uh, you know, 13.8 billion years later that hydrogen became sentient. Huh. Now, if only we could figure out how to get sentient hydrogen to pay their taxes. Thanks for that interview. Will you come on again? (laughs) Maybe uh, sometime next year after you get that HBO chip installed? Well, assuming civilization is still around. Um, It's looking fragile right now. You know what? I'm not even going to say quiet part out loud. Because I agree. Just bad news. It's not, it's not, not good. You know. you know, I'm glad we could find some common ground today. Yeah. And to everyone at home, just remember this. You can't take it with you. Now let me
me uh, just break it to you if the, the fool's out there. You're literally my anti-Stan. I would become detached from reality. Look, Elon, if I can call you that. At the end of the day, we're just both two guys who go to Burning Man.